Hello, I'm back. This is Copycat Crafts by Jill, and I'm Jill. Uh, I'm pretty excited to be back. This is kind of my first uh, video uh, in quite a while, so I'm a little out of practice, um, <laughs> just covering myself here. Um, but I'm excited to get started. Um, I have a uh, kit, actually two kits from Viva Vintage. And uh, when I seen it, I just thought that that's the one, that's the one I want to play with. And uh, so I, here it is, I'm playing. And I actually did shoot a video uh, two days ago. It was right after I got a brand new phone and I needed to try and edit the, the video. I had to spin it around. And somehow I ended up messing it up really bad and I couldn't really save what I had left so I just deleted it and figured we'd move forward so here we are making our first second video and um, because I'm out of practice and uh, <laughs> things are probably not going to go as planned it may be a slightly longer video than normal. Sorry about that. I did try to cut and uh, ink and do all the things to prep, but uh, I do want to first show the kit that I'm working with. Then I want to show you the projects that I've already completed using the kit. Before we even get started in the play we're going to have with the kit, right afterwards. So here's the kit. Um, this is the neutral grunge kit number one. And this is just printed on paper because this is going into my VOV binder where I keep all my VOV kits. Um, that way if I ever lose my phone or whatever I still have all the kits uh, at hand. So that just works for me. Um, so I print them out on, on paper. This, I was just playing with stamps. So don't mind my little stamping thing. Uh, because I did mess up my ink today. I tried to re-ink it. And in my haste, I put the wrong color in. Then I thought, I will correct that. And in my haste to correct it, I put a second wrong color ink in it. So now I have a totally three-tone made-up color. Uh, this is supposed to be Ground Espresso. I only had one of these. Now I don't have any Ground Espresso. I have Ground Espresso slash coffee slash walnut stain. So that's, if it doesn't look correct to you, that's why, because it's not. Okay, back to the kit. Um, the pages are not in, in any real order. I just, just have them like this. Um, so, uh, these are the pockets and then some tags. Um, here's this big giant pocket and a big giant tag. Love, love, love. And this is, um, a backing page to, uh, print on the back of, of like your tags of these two pages. These two pages you want to put a backing on them and here's your two backing pages. I think they're so cool that I also just printed them separately just to use. I'll show you that. Here's the other kit which is her washi tape. Um, you get a, a black on like all um, white really it almost it's so light the gray in it is so light it you almost can't see it then it's a little bit darker like gray in the background and then a dark a darker tan and a slightly lighter one kind of marbled in there I really like really like that had that of that so these are just to put in my in my collection. Um, I also printed it on a piece of vellum. I, I always do when I find a really cool kit I always print 
some of it on vellum, so I have that. I always print it also. Let me see if I can get a piece of white paper here. Let me just flip this around. So I printed it on um, printable uh, acetate and uh, love that. Love that. So I always do that. And then I did print um, on this on acetate as well, printable acetate, which in one of my videos, um, I showed you exactly what I bought um, in the packaging so that if you're interested, because on the printable acetate, you do have to be mindful what side you print on according to the package. So um, you have to keep the package if you buy printable acetate. Keep the package it comes in so you have the directions. Don't pull it all out of the plastic wrapping. Um, so just keep that in mind if you order any of that. These are ones I did just print out. Normally I always print on the back. I have no idea why I didn't print on the back. Probably because I had so many printed You'll see what I mean, that I figured I'd just leave these blank so I could use them in other projects. Also, when I print them, I always print different sizes. So here is probably like the five by seven size. So it takes the whole sheet and shrinks it to five by seven. And then of course I print five by seven on the back. So, I always print with a border, so that's what I have cut off. That's what I have left. This piece, this piece uh, is from a different kit. So is this one. I just have it in here in case I need it as um, an extra backing. There's more of the same. Like I said, I just I I just run in there and I print, print, print. It, you would be appalled. Most people would be appalled. Okay, where can I put this that it's not going to fall? And here is still all the stuff I have. Um, so this is what I used. I also did use some of the uh, coffee uh, distress. Um, whatever I grab, that's what I grab. When I print them in different sizes, this was from the five by seven. This is from the four by six. So I print them all. And uh, I put all the little tidbits in here from all of them. That's how tiny some of them printed. This is the regular size and look how little. Oh my goodness, just love it. Anyway, this is a, a beautiful tin that was made and given to me as a gift. Thank you, Robin. I appreciate it so much and it's so handy um, love it so thank you Robin um, let's put that aside these are the pieces I've already cut out and inked and these are the cutoffs so pieces left over some are printed on some are not some are paper some are not I also cut up some of these. These I printed on paper and uh, then I printed, which I didn't ink, on uh, cardstock. So when I printed these kits, I, I printed them with cardstock, on cardstock. So all my usable pieces are on cardstock. Now here's the two projects I made and videotaped and then uh, ruined. So I will show you them and uh, then we can move on. So it's super, I mean, it, the options are unlimited and just seeing what I've already done and then what we're going to do, you'll, you'll get ideas and you'll see what I mean. Um, Here's one of the little pockets, and I did put one of the little tickets in it. Um, it's just, I made sure when I cut it, 
that it actually matches up with the uh, with the little flap. And here's a little pocket that I put in there. Over here is two more little pockets. And of course you can journal on the back. So we have that. Then this is, um, oh, it's a big pocket on the inside. It's uh, a pocket on the inside with another little tag. And I wanted this so that when it's closed, you can see that number that it sticks out. So I need that. Then here's this big pocket with, um, has another little tag in it. And uh, a little belly band for these little pieces and another pocket with another little tag. So it's kind of, it's very thin. You could glue it inside a journal, uh, it's super thin. And yet um, it has a, a lot going on. So I like that. And then there was this one, which is where I, I made these little file folders out of an actual uh, piece of card stock of this. Of, so uh, I made two file folders out of one sheet. And with this file folder, I, both of them I made a tiny, like that's like a sixteenth, an eighth maybe, um, spine, just so that I could fit stuff in. I cut a square out. I put a piece of the acetate that I printed on. Then I did glue a piece of uh, cardstock or paper over it. I don't remember if it's paper or cardstock, but I did glue that over it. So that is what it is. It, you won't see it even when you move the tag out. And this pocket, um, this is a piece of vellum. And um, I, put, I just put that in there. So then there's pocket here and pocket here and then I glued this one down but I put a tag in and I only glued on three sides so that there's a pocket here so again it's thin you could just if you wanted you could glue it in to a journal use it glue it in as a and still use it as a pocket if you glue three sides um, clip it in with a little clip and yet they don't take up a lot of space even though they have a lot going on. I really like that. Um, so I'm going to move these out of my tin because we don't need to hear me clanking uh, all the whole time. So I'm just going to move my tin out of the way and get my papers back not I don't have like a super duper plan um so bear with me okay here's all my papers uh but with all these I did start where to put it right here I did take I did take one sheet of this with the border cut off only it was printed on both sides on one side it had this or this i don't know which way it went now this way i think so um then and you'll see why they're different lengths they were one piece and, uh, and I cut them in half, folded them in half. But you'll see with this one, it has uh, like a little bit of a spine on the inside that sticks up. I don't know if you can see that, it sticks up. Um, I would like to make it a little bit higher. So that's what we're doing with this one. Um, but I was hoping I could at least 
do two so you can kind of see what it is I'm doing. And I got out my small scoreboard, but big one always works better. It's just, now we already have the center. I just folded it in half, inked it so you can see the center. And that will be the part that gets folded inside. And then we need two scores, one on each side. So, um, let's see, I'm going to put that there so then I know. Here's a quarter inch. Um, I want it, my end is a quarter inch. So to make it a hair bigger, I'm going to move my score line onto in between two of the notches. Then I'm going to still go to the quarter inch. Okay, so now I know it's going to be a hair bigger. Li almost literally a hair bigger. Okay, then I'm going to do the same this way. Right there would be the number five. But I'm just going to go half of a notch. Line my line up with the half notch. And then go quarter inch and score. Now this will get glued up. These get folded like this. So we have the center and we're folding this one inward and then this one also inward towards me, towards me. Let's do it. Let's do it straight. So let's try that. And let's do uh, okay. So now, see how you have that? We are going to glue that so it's shut and it will stick up like that. So we're going to glue that. So let's see if I, let's see if my glue is going to work. Okay. There we go. Just fold it down. Just going to give that just a few seconds to really catch. In the meantime, fold it over, fold it over while we're folding. Um, this won't matter too much, but that way you can see what I can see. If I, so now you, we have our little, our little sp kind of a, an inside spine. It's not really a spine, really. What I plan to do with it is I'm going to glue this shut, okay, and I'm going to put it on here. And I want it so that just the top, I don't know, I think maybe I'll do it this way, so that just That way so just this part I like when that sticks out I like that so we're gonna try and get it like that and that looks pretty um, well it doesn't really matter yet but, but what we're doing is we're going to put um, a brad here I like to use brads and a brad here. So I am going to poke a hole. First, just through here. Poke a hole. And we are going to poke a hole, no measuring, just eyeing it. 
just dye it. Don't need. So we poked the hole straight through. Um, now we're going to mark our holes on this. And I would like it. Let's see where this comes out if we put. Can we see our holes? Yeah. Okay, that's a that's a little close. Thinking on it, I could sh I could shove it back a little bit. Kind of hate to do that though. We're just gonna go for it. We're gonna go for it. Gonna just kind of go to the back part of the hole. Hope we don't rip through. Ah, so close. Back part of the hole. Uh, okay, well, look in a prayer there. All right, let's um, glue this shut. So, whoop, so let's just do that, get that done. Oh, and when you print on both sides with these, it does give you the option then to decide which side you want out and which side you want in, which I think is nice because then you almost get two. Let me see if I can find one here. Like this one design is this design. Then this design is this design. But if I flip it, now I can put it like this. And now I have this design so you don't have to keep all the same design so I think that's cool okay so anyway I should have got my brads out excuse my arm and of course we want to use the teeny tiny brads so um, the tinier the better and unfortunately, I mixed all mine up, not realizing just how different they were. <laughs> and now I always have to really take, take out the time to try and pick ones that, that match, which those don't. So sometimes when I'm working on something like this it's just easier to grab what you can see matches so maybe I'll just do that save everyone the let's see put that in and this one Did I want it this way or this way I want it this way that there and that there. Did they come through? Yes, they did. Okay. And when you use the brads, that does at least give you the option to pull this out if you don't if you don't want it, if it rips, make another make another pocket. Okay. So now we have that. Now just let's see if I can quickly find the... Okay, so that goes in there. And if you want, you can, like I did, I just trim some off depending on how much you want to stick out. So you can leave it all stick out or you can trim off some so that less, so that less sticks out. I'll probably trim it in a little while. We don't, I don't need to do that right now. Let's put that one away before I step on it. Um, what did I do with the other one? Not sure. Here it's, okay, here's the other one. This one goes like this. Now for this one, 
wasn't entirely sure. Thought maybe, maybe. I'm not sure how. I just wanted to do it a little different. Um, if I wanted to glue it there, I think I would cut cut that so that it could. Or do we want two? We could do one this way. This is. I didn't. I didn't bend this one. Oh, I don't have enough room for for two. Let's see, they would overlap, and not that that's bad. Could do one overlapping. Actually, I have two smaller ones. Let's see how they work. Like I said, had no big, no big, big idea. So I have that one. So we could do one like that. One. Oop. Oh my, they're not. And I didn't want to glue them just in case uh, I wanted to make them so you could actually do two like that. One going each way. You could do that. Then over here we could still put in um, Either a pocket this way. Let's see, what do we got? I got big pockets. I don't know if I want a big pocket. That might work over here. But we have smaller pockets. We also have that. Let's take out some of our tags. All the decorations. Here are smaller pockets. And even smaller pockets little tags for the pockets. Yep. Okay, so let's see what we have. We could actually put pockets that way or this way. Fit two in. Don't know if I like that. Also have one of these just fit in a pocket it in a pocket. I guess we could even go this way. I might have tried that. If we go this way, if I go this way, it lessens how big of a pocket because I'm going through the pocket. I think I'm going to do that. I think I like that. And that gives me more room if I wanted a bigger pocket. We'll see. In the meantime, let's do that. Okay. Let me mark. Oh, I did put a um well now that this will be different. even do it. Could I do it that way? No, that would be that way. Do it that way? I could do it that way. Or that way. I like that. Oh, talk to myself. Just discussing it. Disgusting it. <laughs> discussing it with myself. Alright, how's that look? I think that's okay. Let's poke our holes in. Yep. All right. We're going to glue this. Which way do I? Well, I already did it that way, but. 
Let's see, do I want it? Right. I don't want it to match the outside, see? So I'm putting that to the inside. All right, new game plan, reverse. All right. Glue that down. Just give it a sec to catch. We will open it so we can mark the holes. I can move it down if I want. Oh, I kind of like it like that. Let's see, where does that leave our holes? Again, very close. Very close. We'll go to the back side. It's a little hard getting through there. To the back side. That's all right. There we go. We're going to get the same colors because I, th I thought they... That they look okay and they have little legs on them so all right Going better than I thought. Do we want? The, yes, we want that. Yeah. Yes, let's not jinx it. Let's see. Hope I don't have my head in the way. I'm not. All right. Turn it. Yes. Is my no. Let's see if I can turn it. There we go. Hmm. Okay. Well, that certainly was harder than than one thought. All right. So now we have our two bases here. And to be honest, we could even this one's smaller. But we could, I could bend this one up and put, I could like glue it straight down, just glue it. I could also do a smaller one, you know, only that way, yes, that way. I could put a smaller one, I kind of like that idea, and a big pocket over here. Let's, let's close this one and see, give it a test. So if we close it up, just give it a second to set because we do have, um, underneath because this isn't glued down so we could use some of our cutoffs and do something make something interesting like a little hidden thing under it well, that's so that's getting We will cut the border off. No, I don't have a bigger scissors, so. And I don't know how much I need. Let's see. Put it 
there. We could come up here. Either way, it's the same size, so. Let's mark what size. And then I will ink it up. It doesn't have to be dead on, but close would be nice. And now it probably it won't matter. <laughs> Oh my. <laughs> Luckily, I, I did order one of the VersaFine or something. But I really like my ground espresso. Darn it. I wouldn't be Jill if I didn't do stuff like that. Okay, so I could put this pocket here, like that, that would be a larger pocket, and I don't, we don't have to use it as a pocket if we choose to put a pocket somewhere else, the more pockets the better. That's the rule. Ooh, hard to see white on white. All right. So let's put this down. Shift that down a tad. Just give that a second. And we could even put it over here. Put it that way. We could put it anywhere we want. Could even put it here. Or here. Put it anywhere we want. But I want a bigger pocket over here, like maybe that. How would that look a little crooked there. Let's put that down before I change my mind because I do want a big pocket. I don't want all little pockets. So let's get this down. grab a little bit and it's this is why I like to um, print extras and have cutoffs because then I can make tags that fit I mean it comes with a tag that fits I probably used it elsewhere um, because these needed so many tags so so yeah um I do have all these that I can make extra tags out of. Um, so that is what I will be doing. But, um, <laughs> little. Then I also have these little ones. You could even do like two of those. Put them in there if you wanted them. Little, little guys. That's what these little tags are for, which I think are adorable. Boop. I even have littler ones. Do I have little smaller? I may somewhere. But even if I don't, I think it was... I used it under something like that. Like that. 
so that's also an option. Um, I could even put that here. Let's see. I could put this here as a pocket. So I might do that. Where is... I might want to... I can make them smaller, but... You know, like I, when I make these, because I do keep adding pockets, um, I end up using this one that goes back in there. You know, two pockets I took. I don't even have any left here. I have to make one. But I took two different size pockets, and you could put the big one and a small one like that. That's actually what I did on that other side. So... So I actually have that. I could actually do that if I wanted. Maybe I will. Let's do it. Let's just do it. Okay. So we are gonna go... Where are we gonna go? So the that might be up too high. Move it down a little bit. Okay. Then this one I'll put over it. Let's do that. There we go. Got that set. Put this one in over here. And I kind of like that it hangs out a tad like that. I kind of like that it does that. So we'll let that kind of dry. I don't like working with them when they're too damp, but I guess this one can go like that a tab on it. I think I even used all my tabs. I just went to town. But can even do some stamping if we wanted, but I think it's just pretty the way it is. Okay, this one I'm I'm going to cut down so that maybe Maybe what I will do is I am just going to mark it. No, no, that's not what I want. How far does it stick out? Oh, it's not. Okay. I was going to actually just fold up the end and get a little pocket in there, but um, then it will come down too low and I don't want that. So. I want it to come out about even with that card. Then I'm just gonna take off about that much. So let's pull our handy dandy. Is that my second one? Yep, right there. Give or take. It doesn't have to be. Okay. 
Okay. Then so it looks like that. I like. Okay. I could put that over here. I could also I think I may do that. So let's get let's get this lined up and scored. I know I somehow missed it when I was flipping and flopping and printing on both sides. I somehow, but that's okay. We are going to um, put a, a uh, tab on it. I used all my tabs for over here, but um, I can I print them whatever size I want them, so I can print smaller ones like that, and that's what I'm going to put on that. I actually have it printed out. I just didn't cut it out, so I will do that at some point. But for now, I'm just going to ink it up. a day. I hate when I get my sides mixed up when I'm printing. It's usually because I have Dolly in with me, one of my cats, and she demands attention and I don't mind giving it. <laughs> but she steals my focus. <laughs> And as you can tell, the color of my ink is uh, not not very not very nice. Let's move this out of the way. Okay. Did anyone remember my plan now? Because no, I'm not sure what my plan was. Anyway, so as you can see, it doesn't take a whole lot of papers. These, I believe, are four papers printed in different sizes to make a whole bunch of different, different stuff. Okay, I have that. Get my stuff mixed up. I want to pull out these little ones because I think they're just darn cute. Okay, is that my last little one? I'll be making cards with um, tags. Sorry, making tags. Oh, here's my little ones. Okay, so do we want a little one? Do we? Do we? Do we? Do we? Gee, could have put one in that way too, couldn't we? But still, could still do it. That would have been cute with the bigger one, probably. That'd be cute, but but I think I want to do the big one that way. If I glue it down that way. I think I'm just going to glue it down that way. So I want, I want this glued. I want 
I'm sorry if I was out of frame. I'm not sure where I'm supposed to be. Whoop. So if I glue this three sides like this, Now, I can glue it down here. Just grab this. Oh, it's over here. And then I would still have a pocket here. But I want to let this glue. So now, I have a pocket here, and I have a pocket here. So I like that. In the back, we could do a big pocket there. We could do a big pocket here. That. Maybe I'll still do a little... Um, like a little tuck spot like I did on the other one that I made. A little belly band, I guess. It's, so this one's a little fat. Oops. Okay. Oh, that was brave of me. Still a little fat, so I'm going to that in it's a little carry on still probably still um if I just put a tiny little tuck spot in so that's what I will do you don't have to use it but when I start cutting out um, little tags and decorative pieces to stick in it, I think it would be cute to just be able to have a few little pieces sticking out. So let's glue that in. doesn't even have to get in the way. Let's give that a little bit of space so that so we can stick something in. We have this big pocket. Maybe we could put something like that there. And maybe a little pocket here or this way. But first things first, let's glue this one. Okay, and nothing falling off the bottom. Move it away a little bit from the edge because we can. I like to put little eyelets in there. That lose this. use that let's see um, do I do I want do I want to let's put that in in. Look how cute. Oop, I didn't uncork it. 
Look how adorable. That's cute. Here's a smaller one. There, we could put it over here. Put it right there. Put it over here. It's so cute. I think I'll just stick it there though. Let's do that. Isn't that just darling? Okay. Of course, we didn't decorate or anything, and we still have pockets to um, get tags fitted fitted into. I think I might even just do that. Actually, just put that in there, top there. So I think I will. This one's already glued. Let's, let's do that. Let's do that. Look, let's do that. Now I'm not gonna. Yes, I will. I'll still make it a pocket. I have to, because I'm Jill. So, I'm going to glue these two sides, three sides down, sorry. My goodness. And it can be a hidden pocket. No one has to know it's there unless you want to use it. Now I definitely need to print out the tabs because that would be cool. Yep, liking it. Yep, liking it. A little more decorating. We will have a winner. This one. Thank you. Could have Put that one in there, go back here, but we may just want to put one here. Which one looks better? I like that one. If I go that way. Decisions, decisions. Whoop. Yes. I, I really do enjoy when I'm doing them in different sizes because I think it's fun to, to work with the original size and then tinier little mini me's. I think I'll glue that one down like that. And we will do the same thing here. I'm gonna glue all that so that that can't come up, get caught. So I'm gonna put that down. There we go. How cute. Limitless, anything you want. So, there we go. 
three, four, and without even like the back of one without even um, trying, without even really trying, you can just really make some cool ideas. You can really make some cool projects. So there you have it. Um, I hope you got a few good ideas. Uh, if you decide to get this particular kit, um, you, you won't be disappointed. It really is a, a fun kit and it's versatile because at least for me anyway, I love the um, more mechanical-ish look to it. I love to do more, I hate to say manly, but you know, they're not, I'm not super flowery, um, butterfly-y. I do more numbers and things like that. So for me, this is right up my alley and I will be using this in many other um, projects but as a standalone kit I really had fun I really enjoyed it thank you Sage um, so I guess an airplane wanted to join us um, so all right uh, anyone uh, have any uh, comments or questions you know where to leave them. I will always get back to you. If I don't, it's because I didn't see it or find it. And don't hesitate to re-comment or, you know, get in touch with me on any of my social media. Uh, it's all by the same name, Copycat Crafts, on Instagram. I do have a TikTok. I don't go there too often. I don't quite understand. <laughs> don't quite get it. Um, but... I do have it. So um, that's it. I will let you go. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll be back soon. Hugs. <laughs>